you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rappel Allures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, great fishing and adventure at Lloyd Lake in Saskatchewan. We explore Lake Captogama in Voyagers National Park and Big Blue Cats with the G3 crew in Kansas. It all starts right here, right now. Oh, now that's a walleye. Right. Just set that a flicker shad down. <laughs> wow, is that beautiful. Right on. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm in Saskatchewan, Canada, courtesy of Tourism Saskatchewan, and Lloyd Lake Lodge, which, believe me, folks, is a little bit of heaven. It's a little slice of heaven up here, and I'm with the owner, Derek Uniot of Lloyd Lake Lodge, and we are after these guys. We have absolutely a gorgeous day, beautiful sunshine, September, nice fall colors up here. It's just beautiful in the North Country at this time of year. And the fishing, it's great. It's great. We're gonna put this guy back, get a couple more. This guy hit right at the boat. Came up, I saw him swirl. And I backed the drag off a little bit because he was pretty hot. There you go. I think we may have shore lunch here, huh, Derek? Tell us why these walleye are hanging in this pretty much shallow weed area. Well, this time of year, the walleye are getting ready for winter, and there's the minnows that are attacking the lily pads that are almost all decomposed, and it just gives the minnows a little bit of shelter, and the walleye are just coming in and trying to feed up on them. I got one as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not going to net mine then. I got a walleye here. <laughs> We got a double on. Seems like that's how we go. We don't catch one, I know, one at a time. We don't catch one at a time. We always catch two. I got one net and that. Well, can we put both in the same one? Sure, why not? There you go. Oh, no. Oh, maybe we won't. Oh, you wouldn't believe what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just the way it goes. Oh, but. man. A flicker shad. Chartreuse flicker shad. There we go. I think you grabbed mine. It was a little smaller. <laughs> and these are only the you know, one of the species. You've got a grand slam here at Lloyd Lake Lodge, right? Yes, we do. Uh, the main species is walleye, and of course, northern pike are a dime a dozen. We also target lake trout and Arctic grayling. And I tell you, that's throughout the province, too, primarily. The, the pike are probably your, your biggest feature to, that people like to fish for. Your lake trout are unbelievable. Yesterday, he took us on a Argo ride. An Argo ride. He's got a, a lake called Langley oh, Lake, which great. is full of lake trout and pike, and we just caught doubles and it, everything, it was fun. It's a it's a portage over to a smaller lake where you catch lake trout left and right. And then we came back, had a terrific Canadian shore lunch. Um, out in the wilderness, we caught or ate fresh fish as soon as we got there. Went back, caught more fish, came back in the lodge, had a spectacular dinner. And then the light show last night was unbelievable. When it gets later on in the year, and it gets darker quicker, those northern lights just dance. Oh, the whole sky lit up. It was it lasted about an hour and a half and we just sat there in awe. It was it was unbelievable. It just adds to the experience. It sure does. What do we got? There we go. Ooh, walleye. Another Lloyd Lake Lodge walleye. There we go. Such a healthy fish here. Yeah. I like these fall time ones. They're thick. Put up a little better fight, I feel and just the golden color, especially out of the river here. Look at that. We're walleye fishing here in the river. We went up river for some grayling action, came back in, and there's a walleye hole. The, the rapids are right down there, and we have a big pike that is also hanging around this hole, chewing on some walleye. There it is gonna go. be in that net. <laughs> nice net job. Perfect. <laughs> There you go. That's what's chasing those walleye down there. Big Saskatchewan pike. We'll release him. Oh, man. 
man, check this one out. Derek's got a dandy on. We saw a little flash of it. It's a little better one here. You jigged him right up. There, there we go. go. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Awesome. Oh, look at that. It's off to spit it again. I love this barbless. Because he's another healthy Saskatchewan walleye. There we go. Look at that guy. Isn't that pretty? That's a work of art right there. And I like it how you're casting for him, and I'm jigging, and we're both looking. We're both up. catching them, yeah. Oh, that's not a walleye. That's a pike, and it's a big one. Oh, hang on, buddy. Don't you dare spit this. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> Caught the tip of my eye, and next thing your rod is bent over, and it just peeled off half your reel, it seemed like. And I'm fighting this on a uh, medium light action rod. Oh, jeez. It's the Venerate, the new Venerate from Abu Garcia. And it's taken everything it it's can handle now. That tip's doing most of the work right now. She has surfaced. Oh, man. <laughs> how did you get that in that net? I don't know how it fits. <laughs> Holy, Holy whoa. Oh man. Now that is Saskatchewan. <laughs> Folks, I, I want to thank Derek and the Uniates for having us up here. Lloyd Lake Lodge, Northern Saskatchewan, Canada. If you want more information, go to fishsask.com and you too can catch fish like this. Beauty fish. We had a beautiful day and we're gonna put this girl back and you can catch them later. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors and I'll catch you later. This is Saskatchewan. This is Saskatchewan. And this is Saskatchewan. Download your free guide to Canada's best fishing spots and resorts at fishsask.com. Need to be here. You need to be here. You need to be here. In every moment this day has got to give. You need to be here. You need to be here. You need to be here. No better place to be. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. You need to be here. Arneson's Rocky Point Resort is your gateway to the 1 million acres Lake of the Woods has to offer. Trophy walleye, huge northern pike, sauger, and jumbo perch. All this just steps away when you stay at Arneson's Rocky Point. Bring your own boat or enjoy a day on the water with world-class charter boats and experienced captains. Stay in one of our spacious cabins that come equipped with all the conveniences of home. Enjoy first-class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full-service bar. Call 1-800-535-7585 or visit arnesons.com. We were born to innovate, to find a better way. New Berkeley Hardbaits. New designs. Trigger loaded actions. Mind blowing colors. Because everyone wants to catch more fish. Galen's grubs have been out fishing other plastics for years thanks to their unique action. But the time has come to shake things up a bit. Introducing the Kalen Seismic Series of Grub Swim Baits and Worms. Whether you're drop shotting them for bass or swimming them for walleyes. Look at that walleye! Their action is earth shattering. About the uh, third cast of the day, we're out on Lake Cavatogama, hooked up already. We got the old legend Tim Watson taking us to the fish. That jig bite was good. Walleye. Yep, it's exactly why he come up. Boy, he popped that. See if I can get it to you there. Ooh, That's that good... fish has been eating well, Tim. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's what I call a Cavatogama chunker. Yeah.
Like I said, we're out on the uh, lake today with Tim Watson. We're out to have a good time, show you everything that Lake Cabotogama and the Voyage Air National Park has to offer and catch some fish just like that. Boy, he popped that jig. Gotta love that feeling. That's a pretty good one, too. Yep. I'm on the net. <sighs> pretty neat, we're here jig fishing, walleyes, and some guys just come by casting spoons. They're chasing the big northerns. Lake's got smallmouth in there. Good you got walleye. yourself a good one, huh? Boy, he's a chunker too. Yeah, there you go. Getting bigger. Yeah, that's a little bigger, huh? Is that uh, Vegas blue you were talking about? That's Vegas blue, man. Yeah. When in Rome, do like the Romans. You know, in the fall, that's a good color. Yeah, blue, and actually, blue is the last color you can see in the color spectrum. Yeah, so that's what they say. That's a dandy, water. huh? Beauty. Jig fishing is one of the tactics you use here. A lot of times what you see these guys do up here is where I learned it. You thread that uh, minnow on like that. You get them set up just like that. That's how they like to fish them up here in Lake Cabotogama. This is a decent, not a real big one, but a decent something. Sauger. We got a sauger, man. Jump over there for you. Little get the brown mixed bag. Sauger. Little mixed bag. Yeah. Walleye, sauger, perch, and late in the season like this, you got done with your fishing, that's when it's time to step in the woods. You get away from the park just a little bit right next door to it, actually you got hundreds of thousands of acres out there. If you want to grouse hunt, you can walk through those woods and have some of the finest grouse hunting days you can ever find. You know, if hunting's not your thing, those trails are a wonderful place to get out and explore nature. You know? Oh yeah, got another one. Here comes another you one. You are on fire. Not a very big one, but bending the pole. What'd you come up with this time? I don't know what I got. Another sauger. Another sauger. A little bigger go. one yeah. than the last one. That one would sandwich up. Yeah, you could eat him for lunch. Another sauger. It's a good sign Down for by the, the future of the lake. Yeah, when you see the brown color and the blotches, that's yep. a sauger. Yep. Nice little fish, yep. One of the neat things about coming to a place like this is all the history that's around it and all the great stories. Tim's grandfather actually started the first resort here on Cabotoga about 100 years ago next year. You've been around here for a long time. When did the park actually start, Tim? Uh, 1975. This was their 40th anniversary of Voyagers National Park this year. Well, a lot of anniversaries going on. How, yep. how big is the park then? 218,000 acres. Yep. Probably about 80,000 acres of water in the park. Uh, Captogama is uh, about 26,000 acre lake, yep. Mammoth about the same size. And those are the two we access from here, Sun Cab. Yep, and it's basically the only water-based park in the country, isn't it? It's the only one, yes. Yep. Yeah, to get out here and enjoy this park. Definitely. It's in, a, it's in a motorboat, a canoe, a kayak, a pontoon boat, a houseboat, whatever your choice. When you're looking at coming up this way, you know, there's a lot of lodging options. The resorts, basically, there's one area on the lake that's the only place you're going to see development. You've got a lot of nice resorts there. You're going to find accommodations to suit whatever you need. You can find some lodging that easily can fit your budget all the way up to some upscale lodging there. Um, there's a lot of nice campgrounds. The Wooden Frog State Park is right there. And then what, out here on the lake, there's actually campsites on the island. So if you want to get away from it all, you can have your own island for a few days. Great place to rediscover your family and to discover nature. That's a pretty good one too. The guy is shining today. <laughs> so is the sun. Woo. Yeah. He's, oh yeah. He's got an attitude. That old jig bite, that's one of the things that keeps you coming back to fish and you know, you feel that fish come up there and just lock on and you get a little time to get ready and you set that hook about as hard as you can. You don't want to come. Well, a little bit further. There he is. Right in the lip. That is a beauty. That is, boy, them fish are fat. Let me see if I can. <laughs> boy, dig. they got a girth on them, don't they? Tell you what, we've had a great time up here fishing with Tim Watts, and he always gets us on fish. He knows the area, knows the history. We always have fun up here fishing. It's a beautiful place. You should come visit yourself, too. Look up cabotogama.com. For Tim Watson, I'm Greg Jones. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Let's let this baby go, huh?
There's three main reasons why I create my own tackle. Number one is it saves me money. Number two is I can make it to my tournament or trophy catching specifications. And number three is it's fun to feel the pride in catching fish on something that you created yourself. Make your own tournament grade tackle. For a free catalog, call 866-984-3648 or go to do-itfishing.com. Thunderhook Fly-Ins offers the best fly-in and fishing accommodations anywhere in Northwest Ontario. Experience trophy walleye, northern pike, and brook trout fishing while enjoying our luxurious fly-in outposts or smooth rock camp. Visit thunderhook.com today. Midwest Outdoors Television is turning 30. And to celebrate, we're giving away over $20,000 in prizes over 30 weeks, including a Miracraft boat, motor, and trailer grand prize package in July. 30 weeks of winners, a winner every week. Go to facebook.com slash Midwest Outdoors TV each week to enter. Enter once and you automatically qualify for the grand prize boat, motor, and trailer package drawing in July. Share the contest with your friends and receive five additional entries. And thanks for helping us celebrate 30 years of Midwest Outdoors Television. Welcome to Leech Lake in Walker, Minnesota, your world-class fishing destination with a small-town feel. Walleye, bass, pike, and panfish swim in our waters, and our friendly community will warm your heart. Leech Lake has 195 miles of shoreline and some of the best family-oriented fun in northern Minnesota. We have a bustling downtown and over 30 resorts and hotels in the area, so bring your family and your friends. Hiking, biking, fishing, shopping, and more await you at Leech Lake. Start planning your trip at leechlake.org. Fly-Ins offers the best fly-in and fishing accommodations anywhere in Northwest Ontario. Experience trophy walleye, northern pike, and brook trout fishing while enjoying our luxurious fly-in outposts or smooth rock camp. Visit thunderhook.com today. Hey guys, we're coming to you from a, a place that we hadn't been in a little while. We're here with Ryan Nagy with Primetime Catfishing up here in Kansas and on uh, Milford Lake. Uh, catfishing is really popular and, and you guys love seeing catfishing shows and, and really the popularity of the last show we did. Really, just you just guys forced us to come back up here and do this again, so I look forward to it. Nice oily bait fish. We're gonna do Put that out behind the boat about 65 yards and let it drag. We're gonna run these two back pulls, these two side pulls out. Hell, 70, 80 yards behind the boat. We're gonna run the two center pulls a little bit shorter, about 65 yards or so. And we're gonna just make a drift down through here, a troll, um, yeah, less than a mile an hour or so, and uh, cover this mud flat and we'll get one on there. Okay. We got our main line. We're running down to a quick clip here that's on a slide system and we're running a little slinky weight deal here that allows that to come up over snag. Holy crap, look here. Oh, we got another one. Here, hold this one. Hold this one. There we go. Mm. Okay. That's all we needed to do. Where's my line at? I'm out. You're good. Okay. That's all we needed to do was just talk about the, uh, our line, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, look how fat. Down here feeding. You can tell they're down there feeding. That is for sure. Twist the boat in a circle here. Yeah, there you go. Man, you got them back here a ways. I wanted to see you work out a little bit. I ain't even got him to the surface yet. You can see this is a Abu Garcia record. I, I really like these reels. They hold a lot of line. They're still on the 6,500 frame. Got hard on the finger. Okay. Mercy. Nice little uh, fish right here. It ain't too little. He gave me a good fight. They're good, healthy fish over here on Milford Lake with Ryan Nagy, primetime catfish. I guide on Milford Lake here in Northeast Kansas or North Central Kansas. Um, Milford is about a 16,000 acre lake and it has some excellent blue cat fishing in it. I've uh, been fishing the lake for about 17 years now, spe specifically for these blue cat fish. We start fishing early spring and go until we ice up in the winter, which is about the middle of December. Well, what do you say, we'll just let this one go. Sounds great to me. All right. All right, girl. There you go. Good deal. All right. Uh, we got done catching all those fish. Now we're gonna try to explain this 
this rigging up a little bit again. What we've got is a, an 80 pound braided leader, or braided main line, not a leader, but a braided main line that we're running down to a, just a quick clip slide system to a slinky weight. Uh, we'll let that slide all the way down to our, just a standard swivel. Uh, it helps keep, you know, line twist out of there. About a three foot section of a 60 pound leader. I don't know that you necessarily need to use it that large, but uh, it can't hurt, you know, they're not line shy, so. We attach a, uh, about a three inch poly float on there, and that's gonna allow this bait to float up off that bottom about, uh, just about a foot, foot and a half or so. We've got an eight out team catfish hook attached to it. And uh, we just want to skim hook that bait just a little bit. You want to leave this big gap open. That allows for a good hook, hook uh, distance here to allow that fish to really get a good penetrate in the corn's mouth. Oh, oh yeah. that's a good one. Oh, Ooh, man, he took it. Man, he took it down, huh? Mercy. I'm still trying to get him. Oh, uh, I was watching the mother pole. Did you lose my fish now? I ain't gonna lose him. He's hooked good. Famous last words. Oh, I know. There you go. That's a nice one right there. That's a great fish. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll let you do the honors. I'll let you let him. him right there and we'll just... I'll let you let him let him go. Good job. Um, through the summer, we do a pretty nice long drift across the mud flats and it produces really nice fish. Those fish will come up in there and become real active, uh, feeding on the shad that are up in that area. And um, it's a good, fun, relaxing way of fishing. Huh? There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a good one. All right, here we go. Man, if I get it out of the hole. Whoa. Mm. Uh, well, we don't. He's acting like he wants to be something. We're just about. Yep, there he is. You see him? Just about. Let's see if we can get that guy on there. Whoa! There's a good one, Scott. Man, I mean tell you, look at that. That's a dandy right there. That's a good one. That's what we come after. Milford. That's what we come to Milford. Yeah, look gotta... how long he is. Yeah. We appreciate, uh, Ryan, you letting us come back up here. It was fun to get to come back and fish with you. Well, and uh, this was just a great way to end the day is on, yeah. a, on a really nice fish like this. We've caught some good fish today. Get up here and check out primetime catfishing, Milford Lake up here in northeast. Northeast, north central Kansas. Yeah. And uh, you'll, just have a, you'll just have a big time. They got a lot of good uh, blue cat over here. It's interesting how he, how he fishes these in the summertime, drifting over these mud flats. And who knows, maybe you can catch a big fish like this. What happens when precision engineering meets a lifetime of quality and innovation? Up to 29% lighter and driven by a more powerful Duragear design, this is our lightest, strongest, most compact Revo yet. Why reimagine perfection? Because, like you, we live for this. The completely redesigned Revo by Abu Garcia for life. See more at abugarcia.com slash Revo. Midwest Outdoors Television is turning 30, and to celebrate, we're giving away over $20,000 in prizes over 30 weeks, including a Miracraft boat, motor, and trailer grand prize package in July. 30 weeks of winners, a winner every week. Go to facebook.com slash Midwest Outdoors TV each week to enter. Enter once, and you automatically qualify for the grand prize boat, motor, and trailer package drawing in July. Share the contest with your friends and receive five additional entries, and thanks for helping us celebrate 30 years of Midwest Outdoors Television. There's no place like this. Well, there's one. There you go, Jim. There's Thanks, one. Yes. Cool. Is there a place where the underwater images are the clearest you've ever seen? We're seeing every fish, we're seeing every detail of structure, and where every bottom contour was visible, where whatever you wanted to see below the surface was real. Do you want to go? Structure Scan 3D is the future of fishing. We can show you how to find fish 
faster and catch fish in a way you've never experienced. Let's get them. This is it. This is the lure that started it all. Hi folks, I'm Roger Cormier from Midwest Outdoors and I'm holding the original floating Rapala. You wanna talk about a fish catching machine, this is it. Whether twitched on the surface, retrieved in shallow water, brought a little bit deeper with a split shot in line, or even trolled behind a weighted dropper, this lure puts fish in the box. And now, new for this season, unbelievable realism and match the hatch capability with the number nine and number 11 Rapalus in the new custom HD colors. HD live pike, a live rainbow trout, a live walleye, and a live smelt. Lures that match the hatch and trigger more strikes with unbelievable realism. Get some of these original floating Rapalus for this coming fishing season and have a great year out there on the water. This has been Roger Cormier in your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Compromising, like the fishermen who swear by it. Take the helm of a Rainy Lake houseboat and explore over 200,000 acres of sky blue waters and majestic forests in Voyagers National Park. With nine styles in our fleet, you'll find the perfect houseboat for a getaway with family, friends, or business associates. Experience world-class fishing on Rainy Lake with monster walleye, bass, pike, and more. Slow down, relax, and reconnect with family and friends amongst wildlife, towering pines, and ancient waterways. Call 1-800-554-9188 or visit RainyLakeHouseboats.com. For the last three years, Stackon has been the number one brand of safes purchased by hunters in the U.S. They have everything from an 8 to a 66 gun safe. Stackon has any size to fit any need. Features include factory installed door storage, larger locking bolts, backlit keypads, and fully convertible interiors. Stackon believes that everyone should be able to afford a safe to secure their valuables and firearms. Check out stack-on.com to find a solution for your storage needs. Midwest Outdoors Television is turning 30, and to celebrate, we're giving away over $20,000 in prizes over 30 weeks, including a Miracraft boat, motor, and trailer grand prize package in July. 30 weeks of winners, a winner every week. Go to facebook.com slash Midwest Outdoors TV each week to enter. Enter once, and you automatically qualify for the grand prize boat, motor, and trailer package drawing in July. Share the contest with your friends and receive five additional entries, and thanks for helping us celebrate 30 years of Midwest Outdoors Television. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now, and the all-new MidwestOutdoors.com, loaded with video, articles, and TV episodes.